Namaste Taurus, this is Tefnut Light with your weekly reading for May 25th on the week onwards, 2015. I hope you're doing really well. Quick announcement before I start, I'm having my fourth Dream Seeds call, which is a guided 90-minute meditation, which is you can dial up and join the Circle of Co-Creator Callers on the 31st of May on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Coast Standard Time. Please do join us. It is $11.11 to join. And there we will be talking about the grand vision and going into your dream world to really see how you can hone and manifest your vision into making into action. So it's about the bigger picture, about dreaming. It's a shamanic journey, shamanic angel meditation journey. So please join us on that. I will have all the links and all the info below. So email if you'd like to join. It is on Sunday. So that will be really amazing. It is a pre-full moon call. So this week, I'm going to do the same kind of idea. One angel card, a one, one angel tarot, one angel card, and one goddess card. We are still in Mercury retrograde, so take it easy on yourself and others and have a lot of patience. I know that we get kind of frustrated sometimes. All of us can. So don't let that get the best of you. Anyways, so... One card for beautiful Taurus. For this beautiful week of May 25th, 2015. And this is the card that wants to come up. Oop! This is really nice. Everyone's been getting a major arcana card so far. So positive recognition, which is the sun card. Yes, we just had the sun in Taurus, you lovely Taurians. And now we're in Gemini, and it's about success for you right now. Success, birth, being recognized, and arriving where you need to be at right now. So positive recognition with number 19, which equals number 1, actually, because you got it together. It's 10, and 1 is about new beginnings and starts and leadership. So be the divine leader this week. Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly, and now it's your time to shine. Radiant, brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you, and success is all to be assured. Express yourself openly and honestly from your heart, and I feel like it's about, about expressing it to yourself first and then to others. Express yourself openly and honestly knowing that those around you are trustworthy those surrounding you are trustworthy be open to unexpected opportunities so this is great for work great for recognition great um for career great for the employment in terms of self-employment and being recognized being the star being the leader being on that horse marching forward keep going beautiful taurus this is a beautiful energy for you and it has to do with birth a rebirth, a recognition, blessings, and all things are happening in a really positive aspect for you right now. So that's a really nice energy for the theme of the week. Let me pull you one beautiful, beautiful earthly angel card. And this is the card that wants to come up. Okay, Azure, your desired outcome will come in the very near future, have patience and faith. Don't try to force it to happen. So anyways, you're being recognized. You're flying, so to say, high in a sense. But you're having to have the perfect divine timing to truly make it happen. So write your ideas down. Listen to yourself. Talk about self-expression to yourself. How do you want to be seen in the world? And then you will fly. You could be taking a vacation during the Mercury retrograde or after, which is on the 11th. So that's a very nice energy. So you're flying high and your outcome and it means yes for what you've been waiting for and your wishes are coming true. So it's about opening yourself and expressing yourself. That's what it's really about right now. So let's pull you one beautiful, beautiful card and this is the card that wants to come up. So we have these beautiful wings again. You're being really recognized. This is Isis. It's an amazing card. Past life. So you're re-looking really at some things how to shift things around. It could be past lives within within reincarnation, but it could also be within this life. So a lot of rebirth is happening. I'm feeling this is the rebirth card, so to say, because you're arriving where you need to be at right now. This situation involves your past life memories. 
So it's a good time to be doing a meditation or going somewhere you'd like to go. It could also have to do that you're waiting to arrive at this place within the answers from your past life or within this life. It also could have to do that you're waiting to arrive to a place where you used to live in a past life or within this life and you will be returning there or you will be going on some kind of trip to really bring out something in you that will really show you how to be successful and express yourself in the world and be seen with the world. It is about the bigger picture this 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 world this week and especially as we're about to enter the end of this week we're entering into the full moon of Sagittarius and Sagittarius is currently in the sign of Saturn so it's really about grand expansion in the world and bigger visions and the big picture right now so look out for that energy for really beautiful energies if you'd like to get in touch for a personal reading regarding that energy or would like to join our call on the 31st about the bigger picture within the Sagittarius full moon, please do email me at tefnook.light at gmail.com. I do half an hour Skype sessions for video readings and one hour Skype sessions, and all the info will be below. I'm also offering a Re angel Reiki, excuse me, Mercury retrograde. So if you'd like to sign up for that, I would love to see you and love to help you on your journey. And namaste, Taurus. Have a beautiful week. And know that you are recognized in your divine light this week. So have patience with yourself. Many blessings and see you soon.